Mike Gow with Interdental TV and today's March the 15th which means it's the start of the fishing season. So I'm going to have my first couple of casts uh, in the river at the start of the new fishing season and there is a bit of a tradition here in Scotland as to how you do that. Um, now what you do is actually you want to give the the river a toast and of course the best way to toast the, the river success for the fish in the season uh, is by having a, a, a little whiskey so uh, the idea is you raise a glass to the river um, and uh, toast it and it's a nice Dalwini winter that I have here fantastic lovely Dalwini is um, very light very nice whiskey um, very sweet as well uh, the Dalwini winter apparently you can also put into the freezer and if you make it um, frozen uh, it's even sweeter and even nicer. So I'm toasting the river uh, and the tradition dictates that having uh, um, taken a dram and toasted the river, uh, the river gets a dram as well so um, we're going to give the river a dram. So cheers to the river and that now means that the river is going to return me with uh, some good fish this season, uh, having given it a dram and given it a toast on the first day of the season. So actually for me, fishing has got very little to do with uh, actually catching fish, believe it or not. Uh, it's a nice bonus if I catch a fish. Uh, I haven't caught one today. It's the first day of the season. I don't think I've ever caught a river fish in March before. It's usually April. The, the water starts warming up, the flies start hatching uh, by the time you catch a fish. Um, but it's about being able to just take five minutes out of the, the normal stresses of worrying about owning and running a practice, about case management. Um, it's just about having five minutes of peace and quiet to breathe in fresh air to, to see nature. You know, you've got kingfishers flying past and heron and duck uh, um, and it's just hugely peaceful and, and relaxing um, and it just lets the mind quiet down and usually I don't have my phone with me apart from today to, to film this but um, you know, just do it and, and be away from it for a while and I'm very very fortunate in that I can do this um, in the river that is literally at the bottom of my garden because that is my house so I'm very lucky it's the reason why I bought the house um, so that uh, I can come fishing uh, at the bottom of my garden anytime I like uh, actually it's pretty cool because in the property uh, I actually own up to the halfway mark in the river um, so this is my own uh, this is my own little beat here um, and it is far more rewarding actually catching a fish in my own little bit of river so that's why I try and do uh, as often as I can. So anyway that's uh, how I chill out, that's how I relax uh, by the river. Um, how, what do other dentists do? What do you guys do to uh, get away from the, uh, the stress of dentistry? What do you do as a pastime? How do you unwind? Uh, let's hear about it in the comments below. Uh, please do uh, subscribe to Interdental TV um, on YouTube and also follow and like us on Facebook. Uh, I'm going to give us another five minutes to see if anything comes up, but uh, I'm not going to hold my breath. Uh, so tight lines to everybody for this season and um, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.